Okay, Menorca Navy, come on along with us now. It's field trip time. We're going down to the Kennedy Space Center down at Cape Canaveral to take a look at the Space Center. Now, we're going to be showing you a few things that we saw along the way, and then we're going to give you a couple tips. We'll start off with the first tip, which is do not rely on your GPS to get you to the visitor center. A lot of those roads that lead into the facility are restricted. You want to make sure that you're on Florida 405 or the NASA Parkway. Those are, it's both the same road, 405 NASA Parkway, to get you into the visitor center. Otherwise, you may go, end up at a gate where an armed officer comes out and lets you know that you're at the wrong place. Got it? Good. Now, the next thing we got to talk about is this fabulous place. Uh, the visitor center there at the Kennedy Space Center, the, the dominating feature to me was this area they call the Garden of Rockets. Uh, several, a uh, lot of antique space vehicles that are there at the facility. Um, of course, one of the biggest being the Saturn V rocket that is out at a another area. You, you got to take a bus to get out, and the bus trips included with the price of admission. I think the admission charge was uh, eighty bucks. It was in the neighborhood of eighty bucks, but Tip number two we've got for you is sit on the driver's side of the bus when you're going out to the Apollo in the Saturn V area. Um, they're gonna make a little detour around the vehicle assembly building. That's a big, tall rocket building with the big doors. So they put everything together. You're gonna to see everything a lot better if you're sitting on the driver's side of the bus. But out at the Apollo Center, where the Saturn V rocket is kind of broken up into its stages and kind of up towards the ceiling. Massive and uh, just impressive to see. Amazing to think that this technology took humans to the moon so long ago. Really neat stuff. Another tip we'll give you while you're out at the Space Center is be sure to take a credit card with you. They're kind of geared for working off of the credit card and cash doesn't work so well. I'm not saying it can't be done, but you're ahead of the curve uh, with a credit card, especially if you're dining in some of their eateries or picking up gifts and that kind of thing. But they do have uh, just an incredible amount of uh, historical pieces that are out there uh, around the center and out at the, at the Apollo Center. And this is part of one of the shows that they put on. Highly recommend going through the shows. They are very entertaining. They do a really good job in, in presenting them. While you're there, you're gonna to get to see some some stuff that was that actually made the trip to the moon, and then you might even get to see a little bit of the moon in the form of some samples that were retrieved. Another tip I've got for you is don't go expecting to see a launch. Now that's not saying don't plan your trip around a launch because it certainly adds a different dynamic to it, but make seeing the launch just the cherry on top of the dessert. As you can see here while we were there, weather was not so good. Uh, we went down to see a SpaceX launch, just didn't happen but we didn't let that get us down. Now out on the pad here, this is the Artemis rocket, uh, the SLS system that is there and it is on the pad. 
and it is preparing for its test flight to go back to the moon, go around the moon and come back. Now, this is going to be a pretty uh, a significant flight for NASA and it's been a long time since we have undertaken this kind of activity, heading out to the moon and coming back, so it'll be interesting. Of course, the uh, space shuttle display that is at the vis visitor center is very informative, and uh, you really get up close to uh, the Atlantis shuttle. Hard to believe this is technology from 1980. Seems like it was only yesterday. Of course, this space vehicle has been retired and now just sits out and greets uh, visitors to the center. Well, hey, we're gonna slide on out of here. We we'll hope you like this little video. If you haven't done it yet, click on that subscribe link. Of course, give us some comments. But most of all, we want you guys to all stay safe out there.